hello to you and how do you do i'm happy to see you hello to you hello my friends and welcome to the ambitious little learners youtube channel i am miss h and i am so happy that you are here with me on today how are you feeling i'm in an oh so happy mood but i want to know how you are are you feeling a little bit happy today if so give me a big smile maybe you're feeling a little bit sad and that's okay maybe you're feeling a little bit sleepy you might even be feeling mad however you are feeling I hope that after watching this video, you are filled with just a little bit more joy. Today, we are going to learn and talk about shapes. Shapes are everywhere, all around us. Let's look and learn at some of the shapes we might see everywhere, all around us, each and every day. Shapes, do you know your shapes? Shapes, shapes. Shapes are all around us. A circle is a shape that has no straight sides. A circle is a shape that has no straight sides. Shapes, shapes, shapes are all around us. Shapes, shapes, do you know your shapes? A triangle is a shape that has three straight sides. A triangle is a shape that has three straight sides. Shapes, shapes, do you know your shapes? Shapes, shapes, shapes are all around us. A square is a shape that has four equal sides. A square is a shape that has four equal sides. Shapes, shapes, do you know your shapes? Shapes, shapes, shapes are all around us. A rectangle is a shape that has four sides, two sides long and two sides short. A rectangle is a shape that has four sides, two sides short and two sides long. Shapes, shapes, do you know your shapes? Shapes, shapes, shapes are all around us. Shapes, shapes, do you know your shapes? Let's see what shapes we might see if we were to walk around the city. Let's check out the book, City Shapes. Here is our front cover, here is our back cover, and here is our spine. On the back cover of this book, it asks a question. What shapes will you discover in the city? Let's read and check it out. City Shapes by Diana Murray, illustrated by Brian Collier. A pigeon takes flight through the bright cityscape, exploring the scenery shape after shape. The city is bursting with shapes of each kind, and if you look closely, who knows what you'll find. A truck rumbling by to deliver the mail, a silvery cart with hot pretzels for sale, and stacks of brown packages hauled up the stairs. Some shapes in the city are on the go square. Skyscraper covered in shimmering glass, a long metal bench near a green patch of grass, and a table with glittering scarves and gold bangles. Some shapes in the city are dazzling rectangles. The seaport with all of its flowing white sails, and there in the market the pointy fishtails and colorful flags on a banner that dangles.
some shapes in the city are gleaming triangles. The sunglasses worn by a cop on his beat, the wheels of the taxis that zip down the street, and a manhole that leads to the pipes underground. Some shapes in the city are circles so round. At sunset, the city is softly aglow as chit-chatting crowds hustle bustle below. When off in the distance a melody hums, it's hard not to follow the sound of the drums. The stage in the park where the instruments sing, some shapes in the city are ovals that swing. And nearby, the kite seems to dance in the sky. Some shapes in the city are diamonds that fly. The sun fades away into hazy blue dark, and soon there's a twinkle, a glimmer, a spark. Scattered up high above buildings and cars, some shapes in the city are far away stars. The pigeon flies back through the night cityscape as city lights sparkle shape after shape. But her heart starts to ache for the shape she loves best, the shape that is home. Her warm circle nest. Here the whirring and beeping of cars rushing by Puts her fa helps her fall fast asleep like a sweet lullaby. V N. Wow, friends! I hope that you enjoyed that book just as much as I did. And now it is time for you to get your caregiver if they are already not sitting close to you, because it's time for them to learn what fun activities you can do to help you practice and learn your shapes. So this week, caregivers, I am going to show you two quick and simple low prep activities to help your child practice recognizing and identifying shapes. This first activity is going to be a shape punch or shape collage, and you are going to need a piece of paper, glue, scissors, a marker or another writing utensil, and a magazine, newspaper, whatever recyclable materials that you have around your house that may have printed shapes on them. So the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to take your blank piece of paper and you're going to fold it into four. Once you open the paper back up, you should see your four sections. And then I'm going to take my marker and I am going to draw a shape in each section that I want my child to focus on. So I'll do a circle here. appropriately put that shape once they cut it out and place it on the paper. So now you're just going to give them magazine, newspaper, 
whatever recyclable material you have. Again, I love those free weekly ads that they put in your mailbox. Check those out. They are full of colorful pictures that you can use for these activities. If you don't feel comfortable allowing your child to cut, and you will do your cutting for them, but at least allow them to look and search for the shapes with you. If you do feel comfortable having your child cut, remember that you want to have them place their thumb in the circle and two fingers in the curve and practice going open and shut, open and shut. Go ahead and get started searching for those shapes. alternative to this project would be to take this same piece of paper that you've divided into four parts and place it on a clipboard or give your child something hard to write with and walk around your neighborhood to see what shapes they might see in real life. As you're cutting out the pictures, you might also want to discuss with your child why that picture qualifies or makes that shape. So if we were cutting out this first picture, we might want to ask, why is this a triangle? What makes this a triangle? And you can have the discussion that it has three straight sides and it also has three corners. The next activity is a little bit more hands-on. And this activity involves a little bit of drawing, but not a lot of drawing expertise needed by you. So what you're going to need for this activity is some wax paper. If you do not have wax paper, that is okay. You can also use a cookie pan or cookie sheet. And you're also going to need Play-Doh and a permanent or dry erase marker. If you're going to do this on wax paper, I would use the permanent marker. If you are going to use the cookie pan, then I would use the dry erase marker. You simply want to unroll your wax paper. A large enough sheet. Go ahead and rip it off. And then on your wax paper, for your child, you are going to draw a very simple house using shapes and shapes only. Again, there is no such thing as perfect, but you do want to make sure that you are using very simple shapes. So the door, I do a rectangle. For the doorknob, I'll do a circle. And for the roof, I will do a triangle. If you want to add any other design features, maybe you want to add a circle window in the attic, that is fine too. Maybe you want to do a rectangle chimney, that is fine. So once you have drawn on the wax paper, you want to give it a moment to dry. You are simply going to give your child a jar of Play-Doh and you are going to ask them to create the house that you've drawn right on top of the wax paper. And the wax paper is a great alternative because 
to play over cleanup very easy off of the wax paper and you don't have to worry about your table or the floor or any other things getting play-doh stuff on I know sometimes play-doh can be a pain but it is such a great tool especially for our little learners as they are learning and growing. So you're just going to encourage your child to mold the play-doh into long lines. You want to try to get them to understand that shapes are made from lines and that shapes are different kinds of lines. Let them be creative as they go. There is no right or wrong. And this is an activity that they can come back to over and over and over again. They are working on their house. You can ask them questions and talk about what shapes do they see? What makes that part of the house that particular shape? So what makes the door look like what makes the window square? What attributes of the shapes do they see? I hope that you enjoyed the read aloud songs and activities we worked on in this video. I can't wait to see your finished results. Please make sure that you subscribe and you join our Facebook group. I look forward to seeing you again soon.